The following is an Investor Brand Network audio production via our audio press release solutions. As a multifaceted financial news and publishing company, Investor Brand Network utilizes its network of more than 5,000 distribution partners as well as other corporate communication tools to introduce public and private companies to a wide audience of investors, consumers, journalists, and the general public. Investor Brand Network's platform connects the investment community with companies that have great potential and a strong dedication to building shareholder value. The following audio press release may feature a client partner of Investor Brands Network. Investor Brands Network may have been compensated for the production of this audio production. Please be sure to read our entire disclaimer for full disclosure. Tor Metals reports robust copper gold grades, expands with sonic zone discovery at Colas Project. Tor Metals Incorporated, TSX Venture Exchange, ticker symbol TMET.V is pleased to announce the final assay results from a total of 33 raw grab samples collected during 2024 reconnaissance programs, revealing additional high-grade raw grab assays with Kirby, Ray, and Clapperton exploration target zones, as well as a new copper gold discovery in the northern portion of the Colos Copper Gold Project, now termed the Sonic Zone. Located approximately 30 kilometers southeast of Canada's largest open-pit copper mine at Highland Valley, the 100% owned, approximately 240 square kilometers Collis Project is located on Highway 5, just 23 kilometers north-northeast of the city of Merritt, British Columbia. Highlights New Sonic Zone Discovery Initial raw grab samples from the sonic zone have revealed anomalous copper and gold values in outcrop within a 1,000 by 2,000 meter footprint of strong magmatic hydrothermal alteration that aligns with the margins of high magnetic geophysical signature, identified as potential source monzodiorite intrusion. With no previous exploration recorded in this area, the discovery reinforces TOR's exploration model and suggests the potential for another large-scale cluster of anomalies comparable in scale to the already established Kirby, Lodi, Ace, and Ray targets in the south. Expansion of Exploration Targets The potential for expanding the Clapperton zone has been bolstered by the discovery of large, angular boulders, which are interpreted as being close to the original source. The boulders returned anomalous copper values up to 816 parts per million, more than 1,000 meters east of the 2023 soil sampling grid boundaries. In an area coincident with multiple high-resistivity geophysical anomalies that are identical to that associated with a host intrusion at the main Clapperton showing. Confirmation with multiple areas with strong mineralization. The 2024 rock grab reconnaissance sampling programs have identified new sample locations and notable increases in copper grades across multiple zones with the project area. Out of 33 raw grab samples collected, 9 returned values exceeding 500 parts per million copper. This includes an outcrop sample of malachite-stained magnetic diorite from the Kirby zone, which yielded 0.38% copper and 0.22 grams per ton gold, within a ZTEM geophysical anomaly that extends over 1,000 meters in depth, yet to be tested by drilling. Malcolm Dorsey, President and CEO, commented, quote, The latest results from our 2024 reconnaissance sampling programs not only reaffirm the high-grade potential of the Colas project, but also highlight significant untapped exploration opportunities across multiple zones. The discovery of the sonic zone is particularly promising as it opens up a new area of mineralization that bears geological similarities to the high-grade New Afton Copper Gold Porphyry Deposit, located just 27 kilometers to the north. These findings underscore the vast potential for untouched new discoveries within the project area, and as we advance into the 2024 field season, we anticipate delivering substantial value to our shareholders through contained exploration of these exciting new targets, as well as development of our already established zones. End quote.
sonic zone comparisons to New Afton. Key surface indicators within the sonic zone suggest significant potential for a silica-saturated porphyry system with similar geological characteristics to the nearby high-grade New Afton copper gold deposit. New Afton is characterized by monzonite to monzodiorite intrusions and alteration patterns that include potassic alteration, dominated by biodite with K feldspar and magnetite, and propylitic alteration, chloride, epidote, and calcite. Surface features such as these along with narrow quartz veins, silicification, which is increased silica content in the rock, and location along the margins of a high magnetic geophysical anomaly are strong indicators of underlying mineral potential. Similar parallels have been observed at the sonic zone, underscoring the high degree of prospectivity for the area to host a substantial mineralizing system. The sonic zone's geophysical and geological similarities to New Afton make it a compelling target for further exploration, with an extensive soil and rock sampling program planned for 2024. <laughs> Tor Metals, based in Vancouver, British Columbia, is dedicated to advancing its 100% owned district-scale copper gold porphyry and orogenic gold projects in highly accessible mining regions of Canada. Each project benefits from excellent existing infrastructure, year-round drilling potential, and low-cost development opportunities. The approximately 240 square kilometers Colas Copper Gold project is located in the prolific copper-producing Quinzel terrain of south-central British Columbia, with direct access to Highway 5, and is situated 286 kilometers northeast of Vancouver. The approximately 261 square kilometers Fillion Gold project lies within an unexplored gold-bearing greenstone belt adjacent to the Trans-Canada Highway 11, just 202 kilometers from Timmins, northern Ontario. For more details, please visit the company's website or view documents filed under the company's profile on CEDAR, www.cedarplus.com. Neither the TSX Venture Exchange nor its regulation services provider, as that term is defined in the policies of the TSX Venture Exchange, accepts responsibility for the adequacy or accuracy of this press release. Cautionary Statement Regarding Forward-Looking Information This press release contains forward-looking information within the meaning applicable Canadian securities legislation. Forward-looking information includes Without limitation, statements regarding the use of proceeds from the company's recently completed financings and the future plans or prospects of the company. Generally, forward-looking information can be identified by the use of forward-looking terminology, such as plans, expects, or does not expect, is expected, budget, scheduled, estimates, forecasts, intents anticipates, or does not anticipate, or believes, or variations of such words and phrases or state that certain actions, events, or results may, could, would, might, or will be taken, occur, or be achieved. Forward-looking statements are necessarily based upon a number of assumptions that, while considered reasonable by management, are inherently subject to business, market, and economic risks, uncertainties, and contingencies that may cause actual results, performance, or achievements to be materially different from those expressed or implied by forward-looking statements. Although the company has attempted to identify important factors that could cause actual results to differ materially from those contained in the forward-looking information, there may be other factors that cause results not to be as anticipated, estimated, or intended. There can be no assurance that such information will prove to be accurate, as actual results and future events could differ materially from those anticipated in such statements. Accordingly, readers should not place undue reliance on forward-looking information. Other factors which could materially affect such forward-looking information are described in the risk factors in the company's most recent annual management's discussion and analysis, which is available on the company's profile on CEDAR at www.cedarplus.com. 
the company does not undertake to update any forward-looking information except in accordance with applicable securities laws. This audio press release is an original broadcast provided by Investor Brand Network, a multifaceted financial news and publishing company that delivers a new generation of corporate communication solutions, including news aggregation and syndication, social communication, and brand awareness tools. Investor Brand Network may receive payments for the services and solutions provided to its client partners. You should assume that the owners, officers, and directors of Investor Brand Network or financial analysts mentioned in this audio production may hold a position in and may intend to trade the securities on their own accounts. This audio production is not an offer or recommendation to buy or sell any securities mentioned in this audio production. The information in this broadcast is presented solely for informative purposes and is not intended to be or should it be construed as investment advice. As in all investments, investment in the featured companies carries an investment risk. Listeners should review the companies thoroughly with a registered investment advisor or registered stockbroker. This audio production by Investor Brand Network is not purported to be a complete study of the featured company or other companies mentioned. Information used and statements of fact have been obtained from featured companies and other sources but not verified nor guaranteed by Investor Brand Network as to completeness or accuracy. Such information is subject to change without notice. Please see our full disclaimers and disclosures at InvestorBrandNetwork.com.